Hey YouTube, it's been uh, I want to say about three or four years since I started this channel and um, I want to thank you guys all for the support. Um, you know I've never had any monetization or anything like that. I work for a public agency and I just sort of think that information should be free and so that's sort of why I started this channel was because you know I legitimately enjoy the field that I work in and um, I, I think that many other people in the working world might be interested in um, how traffic signals work as well as um, you know different ways uh, that you can be potentially uh, of benefit to the field of traffic safety and um, if you are at all interested in um, becoming a traffic signal technician um, and so um, I just decided that I would start this channel ultimately to kind of explain how they work, different things that I do in order to make my life a little bit easier and I know I get many requests for different types of videos um, and I, <laughs> I'd i love uh, to be capable to um, make a video for all of the requests and hopefully in my lifetime I will be able to fulfill that um, but once again I'm also busy with work and I have a personal life and um, this past year has been extremely busy for me um, I'm working on several um, projects um, construction projects that are ripping through a bunch of my signals and a lot of upgrades and a lot of unique um, uh, unique signal configurations that I've never worked on before so it's been really exciting um, but also I've had some major life events. Um, I had uh, my, my mother passed away earlier this year and you know so I'm, I've been spending quite a bit of time you know helping my family and helping my dad get all sorted after that happened and um, uh, you know so life has continued uh, to function here for me um, and uh, I wanted to express my gratitude but then also to make a fairly big announcement um, uh, as some of you may know I started as a signal technician in uh, Florida and then I moved to the state of Washington um, to work for King County so I started out in Lake County Florida um, 15 years ago maybe more as a signal technician and then uh, you know um, in 2015 I started as a signal technician it was January 2015 I started as a signal technician for the King County uh, Washington which is the major county that um, is surrounding the Seattle area um, and so um, and in that time uh, I have had a signal area as big as 140 signals that were all mine um, you know I work with an outside crew that goes overhead um, but I was in charge of all of the cabinet electronics and detection and everything on the ground basically um, so uh, I was spread pretty thin and then I managed to get um, we managed to get some other employees here which we needed quite a bit um, and uh, you know we're super lucky to have gotten these other technicians that have now taken some of my signals so that my area was a little bit more condensed and can focus on the unique um, projects that I was working on but all the while still doing uh, pre preventative maintenance as well as taking on these project management duties. Um, and with project management, a lot of what you're doing is, you know, starting with the plans, meeting with engineers, talking about 
basic signal configuration changes, things like that. And then uh, going through and reviewing the type of equipment uh, submittals that the contractors are sending you and, and all sorts of fun stuff like that. All the way to programming the controllers and the equipment and testing the equipment when it gets into the shop and then, um, and then assisting contractors, the field contractors that are installing the equipment that have been, you know, um, won the bid to provide the, the service uh, under the general that is hired for uh, the field construction. <clears throat> You, you pretty much babysit them through the process. A lot of these guys, you know, um, although they may build traffic signals, they don't, they don't often understand the, the electrical side, nor do they understand the, um, the logic side of how signals operate. And so, um, you know, so we sort of, uh, bridge the gap between, um, knowing how the signal is supposed to function start to finish and all of the interconnectedness of the whole signal and they can you know do the dirty work as far as getting uh, you know the nuts and bolts together and um, we meet in the field and uh, you know we inspect work and um, so it's a massive undertaking um, it's a lot <laughs> it's a it's really a lot of work and um, but it's rewarding, it's never boring, um, and, uh, you know, to be honest with you, um, you know, I, I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Maybe about three months ago, um, I have a, a LinkedIn profile, and uh, about three months ago, I received a notification in LinkedIn. I wasn't looking, I wasn't trying or anything like that, but I got notification from the human resources um, of a, a city that's not too far. It's actually here in King County, but um, they reached out to me because of my qualifications. They wanted me to apply for a position, um, and I applied just to be nice, and I was interested and kind of curious, and then I interviewed and then I was invited to come to the city to go and meet the, um, the traffic operations team, the, the engineers there, and all of the signal technicians to be hired as the signal supervisor. And I decided to take the job. Um, not because... I haven't really enjoyed my tenure here at King County uh, because I can't say enough good things about this particular workplace, this group, but because I'm up for the challenge and because I think that just because I'm good at doing something somewhere and that I feel comfortable somewhere does not necessarily mean that I shouldn't take the chance to be uncomfortable somewhere or to um, maybe get comfortable uh, providing a better service somewhere else or taking on a new role as a supervisor and leading a great team of talented technicians. Sort of move into um, a different phase of my career. What does this mean for my channel? Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think it's going to change a lot, a lot, except for we're going to have a different set. I'm going to move to a different place. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to work it out. And, you know, it's very possible that maybe um, I might be able to feature some other technicians on my videos. Um, but I, I plan on continuing... Uh, making videos for traffic signals training and hopefully I can even make it work in such a way that I will be able to make more videos. So after uh, eight years as a signal technician for King County I am moving to um, 
another beautiful city uh, within King County called Redmond, Washington, which is the home of Microsoft's headquarters, as well as Nintendo USA, as well as Costco. Um, well, Costco's nearby, but yeah, Costco uh, headquarters. And so um, it's a very uh, tech, uh, tech forward city. Um, the equipment that they have there is equipment that I'm very familiar with. Um, uh, pretty much their entire, uh, most of their, their uh, city is networked. Um, so a lot of the things that I am doing here at King County, I will be doing there. Another interesting thing is, is that right now, my signal territory for me as one technician is um, 109 signals and the city of Redmond is 109 signals and I will have um, four technicians working with me. Um, an excellent team. Um, I'm super, super excited. Um, and I, uh, I can't stress how um, difficult it was for me to make the decision but um, I, I just, you know, I, I still, like, I'm still, like, sort of in awe at how quickly it kind of happened. But um, April 28th is my last day here at King County. And uh, May 1st will be my first day. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to fill everybody in as uh you know the status of the channel i mean i still plan on making videos if by any stretch of the imagination the city of um redmond doesn't necessarily want me making use of the facilities or looking at the cabinets for these videos um i don't really think that that's going to be a hap a, a problem but you know um if by if for any reason um i'm told that i can't you know, I can't do that, then um, there's nothing stopping me from doing it on my personal time, either um, stopping and visiting maybe here at the King County Lab or, um, you know, doing it from home. So um, that might be a little bit harder if I don't have cabinets at my disposal, but um, if that's the case, then I can, I can manage. Um, otherwise, um, I really want to thank you all again uh, for all of the comments and um, subscribing and um, the more that I can get uh, as far as information about this career out to people who are um, inspiring and interested in technology and transportation and public safety, um, I, think, I think that this is... Um, it's, it's extremely rewarding. I know that different places in the country, this particular field pays, you know, different wages. Um, and I understand that. Um, I knew that because I worked in Florida and, you know, I was making peanuts there in comparison to what I'm making here. However, um, you know, you're lucky if you can purchase a house for less than $600,000 here in the state of Washington, or at least here in King County anyway. Um, whereas there, I think my first house I bought for $90,000. So there's a very big big difference on the cost to income um, ratio there. Um, but uh, yeah, all I can say is thank you guys. Um, thank everybody on the channel. And I look forward to posting some videos in the future. Somebody requested one on uh, plan review, plans. So hopefully um, that might be my next video, you know. Um, and maybe, uh, maybe I can get that up before I leave King County and go over to, uh, go over to my new position. So thank you guys very much. 
uh, click like, subscribe, and the little bell thingy for notifications, and then you know that I'm here, and then you know that a new video comes, even though sometimes I don't post a video for six months. It's okay, I'm weird like that. Talk to you guys later.